Okay, so let me just fix the cam a little bit. Anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the setup actually looks like. I will show you that it works. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna go to the other room where my PC actually is because I've drilled a hole in the wall to put the cabling from one, from one room to the other. So I don't have my PC in the same room where I work due to noise, sound, issues, etc. And you will see the interiors of it and what I did inside. And nothing special, we really just plugged in the extra graphic cards, but I'm gonna show it to you. Anyway, however, what I wanted to show you now is, uh, well, is the gaming setup. I want to show you that it actually does work. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my camera around. The blackboard is right behind me. It's still very much alive. So this is my laptop where I'm perform from which I'm performing this recording at the moment. And this is the, this right here, this is the first PC that is actually a VM. You can see on the other screen, I'm just pull the mouse a little bit. You see on the other screen that I am actually running these two VMs at the same time. Now on the third screen, you can't see anything because uh, the Windows machine is sleeping. I'm just waiting for the image to sharpen up a little bit. But here, what, you see where my mouse is on the screen. So if I just point and click and then move it around. Ah, there we go. So the VM has actually went out of the sleep mode. So there's a bit of reflection. Let me just move the camera a little bit. So, oops, I'm wobbling it. <laughs> uh, there we go. So you have one VM and you have the other VM and they're both perfectly fine and functional. So I'm just gonna move the camera away. Let me just go ahead and stabilize it. I'm really struggling here. So you can see my cup of coffee over there. I always have a cup of coffee here. This is the first monitor, second, the third, and the fourth is over there. Uh, the host machine is Linux. This, oh, sorry, this monitor and this monitor, they're basically plugged into the two GPUs that are passed to the VM. So uh, I have fraps and I have it plugged from NVIDIA to basically measure the, measure the performance within the games in terms of the FPS, but uh, I'm not going to show you how I'm playing. Well, I might as well. I mean, I can go ahead and just log into the game and see that it actually works. The other account here on the other screen, I don't have two accounts with Blizzard. This is just my friend's account that I'm using on here in place. It just stays logged in there forever. Uh, you see, oh, Heroes of the Storm. Why did I play Heroes of the Storm? Why, why am I booting Heroes of the Storm? You can't see the fraps in the corner. I really don't feel like playing it now. Uh, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Overwatch and we're. I'm go just gonna go ahead and enter the game so I can show you that it does load, that you, uh, that it does work, but later on I'll do screen recordings of gameplay. So you'll be able to see the frames per second and all that and how it works. For now, I just want to show you that it does indeed work. You see the loading time, uh, I did some updates. Okay, it actually loaded. It's in windowed mode. I can like just move it around, but I can change that pretty easily. Uh, here, let me just change it to full screen so that you know that I'm not cheating or something like that with the setup. And there you go. So I am at the moment quite literally in the game Overwatch and I can go and play and training, etc. But I'll actually record the screen and then we'll then I will show you how it works. I just wanted to show you that it does work here. Let me just move the camera a little bit. Uh, in the upper left corner, you can see the FPS. I mean, I'm not playing a game now, so it's a uh, it's high. This is basically just the startup screen. It's above 100. Uh, during a game, it's anywhere between 60 and 100. So that's the that's the ratio. I just want to show it to you there in the corner. Now, I apologize for the mess on my table. 
but let's go down below the table. Well, there's a lot of wiring and cabling there. I like to customize my things. If you look at down below, I'm just going down below the table, you will see that I have a lot of things plugged in here. I have around 48 power sockets and I basically have two more available, two left. And if you look straight up ahead, there is a hole in the wall which leads to the other room where my actual PC is located. But I'm gonna cut the video here and we're gonna go to the room and check it out, the interiors of it. 